yeah welcome back to my youtube channel now today in this video i want to show how i made the preamp that i used in my previous video yeah now oh, you can buy one from the factory like the ones i'm showing or if you want shortcuts eh, you can design your own by following some of the diagrams that we are going to see so if you want to design you come here and search base preamp and then go to images you will find a lot of you know diagrams most of them do not work i don't know why they put them there so the one i found working it is this one by tronics yeah you can open the website you find a very good diagram it has few components yeah and this is the one i found working so it's the one that we are going to follow the diagram to make our preamp now these are the tools now this is a pcb board there are two types there are some which have continuous lines and there are some which have only one line at each dot yeah if you know a pcb board you'll understand eh? so these are the components just very few eh? and this is the main one eh? grc 4558 yeah, you can see it there, 4558. Then you have variable resistors. These were 100K. Then I realized that one is short. So I got the ones which are equal length. Yeah, these are the plastic knobs to enable the rotation of the variable resistors. And then the most important part, eh, you have to measure before you put this... Uh, so you test for continuity you hold the red probe on where we have the ground and then you measure all other seven pins eh? if they are giving a reading that means the grc 4558 is working perfectly yeah you can look for the pin outs on the website there are so many websites eh? just search 4558 pin out and you'll get a lot of you know information eh? so this one is working perfectly So we come to the resistor. So we move the resistor to where we have the 200K. Because the resistor is 22K, that means it should be. We should put it where we have 200K. And make sure it is indicated on the screen. Eh? So you can measure. You get 21.3. Yeah, there is always a small tolerance. 21.3. That one is working fine. Eh? It should not be exact 22 because you know plus or minus there is a small error so for the capacitors we need to move the red probe to where we have the cx sign you see where it's written cx so you put it there then you move to where we have the faradines so the first ones we are going to measure this small 104 these are called 104 capacitors ceramic therefore we put where we have the is it 200 nanometers? So this one we are getting 154, 150 something. These are nanofarads. Yeah, 140. Yeah, this is also plus or minus. And remember, nanofarads is something very small. So it should be around something 100, 150, 120. But now for this one, eh? this one is polarized. Therefore, first of all we have to move where we have the two microfarad and then we move the, we take the black probe hold it to where we have this stripe eh? where we have the stripe that is the negative part of the capacitor so we hold it against the black probe and then we test so this is giving us 1.2 yeah this one is also functioning properly eh? Now let's go to the variable resistors. These ones have the, we have two parts. We have the front and the back, and each one has three pins. Let me. So this one we put where we have the two hundred. And remember, we have moved the red probe to back to the original place. So because it is fifty k, we move to the meter where we have the two hundred. 
So we have points pins 1, 2 and 3. So pin 1 and 2, in, the more you rotate clockwise, you are increasing resistance. You see we are coming close to 50k. But now pin 2 and 3, it is the opposite. <laughs> you turn and clockwise, you are increasing resistance. Yeah, we'll see where that one will come to apply. Then we have the front and back part. So the second variable resistor is the same thing. So you see, and clockwise reducing, clockwise increasing. Yeah, you put it pin 2 and 3. You can also test the back part, but I realize these ones are working properly. After all, we will only need one part for the uh, low pass filter. This one does not use a lot of them. The more you take clockwise, the more you take anti-clockwise, make sure you have you have measured. If it was the 100k, they will be coming close to 90 something, 95, 96, 97, or 101, one somewhere there. Yeah, now we are through. So what we do, I have to, uh, there's a lot of smoke. Now these resistors, I did not get a new one. So I salvaged them from some unused boards, amplifier boards. That's why they have to be removed excess solder. Then you plug it to where we have the PCB there. And then the next one, the first one will be one will be gain and another one will be frequency. Yeah, that way. And now I can cut the PCB board to the size that I want. Now that I've plugged the variable resistors. Yeah, they are the ones that give you direction of what size you'll need. Yeah, this part. Eh? So you solder them to the PCB board. And remember now this PCB board eh, is having stripes, so I have to use a scalpel, this one here. Eh. We have to cut to make sure that they don't have joint connection. If you use a PCB board, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Eh. Then you can use the meter to know if they are still joined together or... Yeah. So like this part was still having some contact, so I had to clean it with a scalpel. And you see now, nothing is in contact with each other. Yeah, we'll have something looking this way. So next we come to the JRC. So the JRC we plunk it there and solder now you plug all the components the resistors following the diagram eh? there is the capacitor you put it there and after a few minutes you will have something like this eh? so I used a glue gun to hold these wires together because they were very shaking now I'll explain why we have all these wires eh? So as you can see, we have the diagram there. The wires are there, the connections. So like this is the 12 volts plus plus 12 volts. I'll make a video about what is uh, this plus 12, minus 12 and the ground. Now this is the point I want to explain. Now you see, the first one is a gain, the second one is a frequency. Now you see gain, we have connected pin 1 and 2 only. 1 and 2 for the connections. Yeah, because the principle is increase in resistance increases gain. You see we have connected to pin 1 and 2. Now for the frequency, it is the opposite. Increase in resistance reduces frequency. So the more you take it clockwise, eh? remember you have connected to pin 2 and 3. It is reducing resistance eh? and therefore increasing frequency. 
So the first one is pin 1 and 2 and the next one is pin 2 and 3. If you confuse, they will work anti-clockwise. You will find for gain you have to turn anti-clockwise. For frequency you are turning. Yeah, make sure you follow that. Now for this capacitor, I just tried to connect it beneath this 104. It is connecting pin 3 and the ground. Yeah, just connect it down there. Just practice and you'll have the uh, low pass filter working perfectly. Now for the wires, we have the, these ones are for the power. We have plus 12, minus 12 and ground. I'll make a video about this dual power. Then we have the, is it the input, yeah, input. The red is the signal in, the black is the ground. Then we have the output, the red is the signal out, the black is the ground. And this one will look like the one I had in the amplifier here. Yeah, it is the same. Eh? Now, regarding this amplifier, somebody, uh, my friend asked me, it's called a uh, Waweru. He asked me now how about the fan for ventilation eh, to remove hot hair. But now you see this board, it is not hair tight. It is having so much space. You can see there is a lot of space above the fan. All this is space. Eh? And also to the sides, I use a screw to cover the, you know, the lid. There is a lot of space, eh? even at the front, you can see all this space. Eh? I don't think now you can trap a lot of hair inside, eh? so that's why I did not use a, an external fan to remove the hair. And I was thinking of having uh, some LED somewhere here, especially to show if the fan is working. Yeah, you can have one somewhere close there, and also this is also space. Yeah, I think now we have uh, made our preamp. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Eh?